I'm Terry Kennedy, and this skating in the city. LA is a multicultural city. Music, fashion, tattoos, different cultures, everything coming together. Everything living as one is just art. It's dope, I feel like that it's a bunch of artists grinding out here at the same time, but we all sound different. It's enough room for all of us in this game. Yes, it is. It's enough room. I'm gonna take you through the city and show you how it all intertwines. When I was coming up, there was an escape park in the city. Now when I go around, escape parks are in every inner city and neighborhood throughout LA. We at Stoner Park. These places are called the plazas. The most street feeling skate park you can get. You can come and build and put some content out and not get kicked out, you're doing your job. Nowadays, have a park that they could go to each, each right. city. Like they're just popping up everywhere. I feel like it helps a lot of kids in like, like bad areas get through like hard times. You know, like right. rather just than doing the bad thing. Yeah. LA is like the center spot of like the whole California nurture. Yeah, nurture yeah. brown right for there. Yeah. Birth of skaters on yeah. So kids progress like that real fast. Sure. Exactly. That. Venice Beach, man, is definitely the most iconic birthplace for skateboarding. People come here just to walk and see how much they came through here. What was Venice like the Dogtown days and your days coming up? Well, it was, uh, this place was um, kind of a ghetto. It was a dump. Really, wow. it was. I mean, this was, you know, poor whites, poor Mexicans, poor blacks. All the way so up to cool. South Santa Monica. So we called it where the debris meets the sea. I mean, that was our joke wow. we used to say about it all. How do you feel, and what are your takes on the progression of it all? It's interesting, because I was, let's say, let's say the first group were the guys in the 60s. Right. And they were doing the straight up, you know, tic tac longboard style. And we came in the 70s and really started the skate style, the low turns, all that kind of stuff, birch right. and everything. And then Asoy and those guys started blasting the airs right. with the ramps, and McGill and Caballero, and, right, all so that old, all, all the 80s things. And then now, it's coming around where people are blending. They're going, we want the 70s stuff, and the 80s yes, stuff, so and the 90s we stuff. All. We want it all. So I go, one third of what they're doing is what we were doing. So we gave them that little piece of it all, wow. right? It's cool. Yeah, we in LA right now. About to catch up with Kidding at his music video shoot. Very talented cat, man. Seen him come up from grassroots to where he is now, to making a lot of noise. The LA scene is growing, man. I think uh, it's dope. I feel like everybody's representing different areas in the city and, and sound different and make different music and all work with different producers for the most part. I always tell people that are from out of town, they're like, I'm going to LA. And I'm like, you might not leave when you go to LA because you it's so easy to just run into different right. situations, run into celebrities and people just on a regular day and just get introduced to brand new things. My man. Love, man, appreciate it. You always, keep up always, the great always. work, man. Definitely, man. You would call this area streetwear fashion driven area. More like my brand survive off this type of area. This is the culture and this is like the, the living the birth of all the streetwear brands that's been coming up these last couple years and just doing it. When I came up, there was only one skate shop that we can get product from, which only carried only so much product. They didn't carry all exclusive stuff. So coming to a place like Fairfax, you get exclusive streetwear fashion. Everybody who comes on this block, as far as a streetwear brand, everybody is considered family. We all intertwine and lock in because this is, this is the culture of our brands. It comes from streetwear fashion, and this is the epitome of it. When I started DGK, nobody believed in it. You know what I mean? I can't even front. Right. People thought I was crazy. But with, with streetwear being so successful and, and, and everybody doing an independent hustle right. is able to achieve some type of success, it made it easier for 
my brain, it made it easier for your brain, right. and it allowed our careers to actually have a, a stable platform of identification. Keep it locked. Yo, this your boy Kidding, man. If you don't know, you rocking with Skate in the City right here on Network A. Ooh. Yeah. Do it. Do it. Don't do it. Oh! That shit is stinking. That is dangerous. All right, pull it back. You ready? Yep. Yeah.